This is Ogallala Lake. The year I lost my farm, I came out here with my dad. We had an 18-foot motorboat, round bottom, aluminum boat. You steer from the back, 18-horse, 18 18-foot 18 boat. Got out there, it was about as calm as it is today, except, I said except, the wind came up. Within 15 minutes, we had six-foot swells out there, and it was a miracle that my father and I survived that day. You better believe I got a lot more respect for this lake than most people. When you almost drowned, we got back to shore, but barely. The old boat was just about swamped. It was a tough day and a heck of a good la lesson for this landlubber. We're down below the Ogallala Dam itself. There's a smaller lake down here. Back in the early 1950s, Charlie Bartlett, an uncle of mine, and another uncle, Ray Bigby, and his wife, uh, Evelyn, they came to Ogallala, but they were afraid of going on top with just a rowboat. It was just a 16-foot rowboat. Well, I got out here on this side, and the water was boiling out of the dam down in this direction. And he was out there just fishing a little bit. And, but unbeknownst to him, he got close enough over here to the side where that water was boiling on down the river that they got caught in the current. And he had to fight for most of 30 minutes against that current. And they were all scared to say the least. And rest assured, that would have been a heck of a boat ride going on down the river if they would have uh, failed to get out of that current that day. And from then on, they always stayed over on this side of the lower lake and never ran into that trouble again. Water is always a dangerous thing. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're inexperienced, and for darn sure, if you don't have a, a motor that can get you out of trouble if push comes to shove. And Ogallala has taken more than a few lives over the, its lifetime. So be careful around water.